Why are so many programmers so terrified of recursion? Now, I've only realized what a big problem this is when I've done other videos on YouTube and I've had comments saying that I would never use recursion. Recursion is so problematical, I would always use iteration. Well, iteration is like a while loop, so you go through a sequence of values, whereas recursion, you call the same function time after time to do the same operation. Why is one more difficult or more problematic than the other? The real reason is they shouldn't be. As long as you have the terminating condition for a recursive function call, it should be no more problematic than a terminating condition in a simple while loop. And yet people find recursion really, really scary. Why? I think I've given quite a bit of thought to this and I've come to the conclusion that part of the problem is the way that books and college courses often describe recursion. So they describe it as winding up and unwinding and that conjures up a, an image in my mind and I suspect in lots of other people's minds of like wrapping up a ball of wool or a ball of string and the recursive function call has become tighter and tighter uh, bound so that when you want some piece of information it's really all wrapped up in this mess of, uh, of string, whereas a, a normal function cause or, or iteration um, go in, in linear sequence. So iteration, you go from zero to 10 and function cause, function call uh, one, calls function two, calls function three, and then function three returns to two and one. Whereas recursion, again, you just call the same function, function one, function one, function one, and you get lost deep in this tight mess of, of, of string. Another way of thinking of it is like a game of snakes and ladders with normal function calls. You go up the steps of a ladder with a recursive function call. You get lost deep inside the coils of a snake. But that is not correct. A recursive function call is really just the same as any other function call. So you'd use recursion very often if you're navigating something like a directory structure, tree-like structure. So you're going through the directories files and then you come to a subdirectory and you want to go through uh, the files in that subdirectory and you don't know how many levels of subdirectories you have but you just want to every time you come across a, a subdirectory you want to keep on calling this same routine to uh, add up the files or whatever you're doing uh, the same would be in in other tree-like structures in a outliner a, a thought processor application or um, uh, some sort of grammars, if you are navigating a, a natural language grammar. Sometimes recursion is a very good way of performing a repetitive operation for an unknown number of times. If you have the problem of getting your mind around this idea of winding up and unwinding, go back to my analogy of function calls being like a ladder. Well, if you've got function call one to two to three, that's quite easy to understand that three exits, two exits, one exits. All you're doing with a recursive function call is because the, the function already has the code that you want to execute, instead of having these multiple functions, you just call that function multiple times. But the end result is the same. You are uh, putting stack frames in an area of memory called the stack to contain the uh, values of the function calls, just as you would if they were separate function calls. So if you had function one, function two, function three, you'd have three stack frames. If you have function one and you call it uh, again and again, you again have three stack frames. And when one exits, you go back to the previous and you go back to the previous. So it's just like normal function calls. The only difference is instead of having an endless number of functions, all of which contain the same code. Because you want to execute the same code for each function call, you call the same function time after time. I have lots of other videos which explain the technicalities of recursion and things like um, tail recursion, which is an optimization technique, and various other things to do with recursion. So I've put some links down to those down below. But really, if you're having problems of understanding what I'm trying to get across to you is stop thinking about the ball of wool. It's not, recursion is not wrapping up. It's not winding, literally winding things up and unwinding. That's just an analogy. And 
it's not a literal description of how it works. A recursive function call is fundamentally the same as any other function call. So stop thinking about the ball of wool, start thinking about the ladder. If you need more help, look at my other videos. I've got all sorts of videos about the technicalities of recursion and stack frames. Uh, so I'm, I really, in this video, I'm not trying to explain the technicalities. I just want to try and help you get through the thought experiments of how you, you imagine recursion. Uh, and this sort of winding and unwinding might actually be causing you more problems of understanding than, than it uh, solves.